Mark McGuire and Sammy Sosa captivated America's attention that summer, and once again, Sunday Night America remembers that summer of 98. Sammy Sosa joins us now, and Sammy, when you think about that magical summer, all these years later, when you think about it, that joyride that you guys took America on, what, what comes to mind? What do you think of right now? First, it was Scotty. Thank, um, I mean, thank you for having me. Uh, 98 was the year that uh, marked my life. Uh, Mark and I did a, such a great job that year in 98. I mean, I can, you know, uh, we put in the show. Everybody was happy about the performance that we have in 1998. So, uh, you know, what can I say? I mean, uh, everybody, uh, I remember after 22 years, you know, we still mention our name and we still, you know, in the hip parade. So I'm very happy about it. 66 is a hell of a lot of home runs. And as I watched it, I was like, oh, I remember this one. I remember that one. You're the guy that did it. I don't, you, you tell me, is there a moment, is there a singular moment, a swing, a home run that, that you right now can think of and see as clear as day? Probably I can say to you that, you know, it is like when you're in the dream, that you know that uh, you're going to go to the ballpark with a good attitude, good, good, you know, I mean, good uh, enthusiasm and, uh, you know, every, you know, when you believe in yourself, everything make it easy. So I am very grateful uh, that I have a 1998, you know, that year. We shocked the world. I mean, I remember, you know, my 20 home run in one month in June. I remember, you know, continue having grand slam that I never had it before. Uh, the fans and all the support that we got in 1998 was incredible. So, uh, you know, this is a year that I never, that we're never going to forget. And this is the year that we put in the show, especially a, Coming from 94 with a strike, so pretty much 90, 94 and 98, you know, we got back in baseball. Mark McGuire said in the documentary that, that you didn't have any pressure. He had pressure, you did. And I'm thinking, you guys were trying to make the playoffs. They weren't. I, I don't know that that was fair for him to say you didn't have any pressure. What do you think of that? <laughs> he, you know, I mean, he's all right. Uh, uh, for me, just to be happy, I mean, you know, I was happy just to be there. So uh, for me, I don't have any pressure. Pressure I had when I was in the Dominican Republic as a Shushan boy. Sure, of course. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and uh, you know, came to the big show, know um, that I have a responsibility to represent my country, United States, I mean, Dominican Republic in the United States, but also, you know, uh, we put in the show. And also, I, 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 because the rate was so great that pretty much I take so many pressure from Mark because... You know, for me, <clears throat> it was like a show just to be there. I was, you know, I was a winning anyway. So I think, Mar, you know, I really appreciated that that year. It's easy to forget specifics, but I was reminded you hit a homer in Houston. Now you've got the lead. Did you think for a moment, I'm going to catch him? Uh, you won the MVP. As you said, it worked out fine for you. But did you think, <laughs> Sammy, for a moment, I might actually win this home run race? Well, um, you know, when you, uh, you know, I remember his 66 first, but, you know, with a guy like Mark McGuire, with us, uh, such a tremendous power, one home run not going to be enough for him. So pretty much, you know, I did it first, I understand, but, uh, you know, I know that at the end of the day, you know, he's going to come back again, because that was one of the good things that I like it, that I was a race, but there's no jealousy. Everybody had to do what they had to do. So. Um, I will show the world that, uh, you know, we compete each other. Everybody went different way. And, you know, we never uh, say anything negative about each other. So uh, everybody liked it. Um, all the fans was very happy. I was three that uh, came out. And uh, I came out in second, but also, uh, what, you know, I mean, it worked fine for me. You all were the faces of baseball that summer. And in a lot of ways, Sammy, you guys now become the faces of an era. You all are, are, are meant to answer for everyone from that era. I don't know how reasonable that is. How do you feel that, is that fair that, that you all are asked to answer for, in a sense, the sins of an era? Well, pretty much I can say that, uh, you know, we, that year, 98, you know, we put every, you know, I mean, we have a plan and we put everything together. We came out on top of everybody else. So that's why, you know, normally after 22 years, you know, we just been, you know, in the hip array, like I say. Uh, I don't have no problem to represent anybody well, but I don't, you know, what I don't like is, you know, take the blame from somebody else. So, but, uh, you know, um, uh, that was a year that uh, we had to do what we had to do. Uh, uh, we been in baseball back. I mean, so many million people watched that. And uh, um, I feel great uh, to come, you know, to the Chicago Cup. They gave me the opportunity to be, the player that I was, and, um, you know, I put in the show for everybody else, so pretty much, you know, 
Uh, you know, I mean, tw you know, after 22 years, you know, it's been great. Well, you say in the doc, you said, I'm good, I'm happy. And, <laughs> and I mean, you know, you, the smile comes easy. You talk about being a grandpa, which seems impossible to me. But, <laughs> but w could, could there be more joy in your life, Sammy? If, if you got to go back to Chicago, if they embraced you all these years later for what you helped, what you gave the game in that summer, would that, would that bring more joy to your life if that were to happen? Definitely. Um, you know, normally I think, you know, that time is going to come. I'm looking forward. Uh, I am, like I saw you, I am very good with my family. I'm a family man. Uh, I feel great that uh, the opportunity that I got given to me, I take advantage of every, you know, or, you know, every opportunity. But, you know, Chicago is going to be all right. I mean, trust me, you know, uh, the organization, they, they, they you know, uh, are expecting, you know, in the future, in the near future, you know, that they, you know, give back. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm bringing my to, I'm bring me back to Chicago, and 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 then you know we take it from there. Especially all the fans that I would love for me to come back. Yeah, I mean, McGuire had that moment, I believe, in '17 when he went in the in the in the Cardinal Hall of Fame and what he meant to them, and and I think of what you meant to Chicago, and it would just feel right that that whatever, however baseball, if the Hall of Fame, however they view you in Chicago, be, it, there's a, a, a huge part of that city where you'll be loved forever. It just feels like that would be appropriate. You know what I mean? That, that's something that you would want to happen, is it not? Uh, of course I want to happen. I mean, you know, I mean, Chicago was my house. I mean, normally in 98 through my 13 year that I, you know, you know, that I was in Chicago, I play every day pretty much. I play hard. People remember me because I play hard. I run hard to the right field every day. Right. So I have a lot of joy. I have a, I know, you know, a lot of memory. I mean, Chicago, all my number, I made it with Chicago Cubs. So pretty much I, I expecting, you know, and in the near future, you know, come back to Chicago and, you know, they, you know, they can work on me back and, you know, we continue living our life. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.